All right, joining us now, author of the brand new book, Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, the case against the anti-Trump conspiracy, Judge Jeanine Pirro in the house and also with us. He's the number one host on the Fox Business Network. Our good friend Lou Dobbs is with us. Okay, if I say, I actually said, if I said, then I said, I'm kidding. I said, bad idea. It's not going to work out well for you. And then I go through everything that Hillary did, but they're more mad at what I was. How did, first of all, how, how did they not get it? Well, they don't get it because they are so uh, uh, consumed with the Trump derangement syndrome that it doesn't matter who is right and who does wrong. The issue for them is if you say anything, they're going to hate you for it. Whereas one of them just said, I wrote it down, where did the idea come from? From me. Oh, no, the idea came from Hillary Clinton. Okay. It was a joke no, that, on what Hillary Clinton yeah, exactly. did. Well, that's the come point. On. She did these things. She Lou? got a warning. Look, you better trash your phone, she broke delete the law. Your emails destroy the evidence in right. case we come for you, but we're not really coming for you. For those folks to take you seriously, it suggests only one thing. Well, wait a minute, that really sounds bad. For those folks, I <laughs> want to be. All right, that moment was sarcastic as hell. Uh, absolutely. I, as a matter of fact, I heard you live, and, and it was it was a funny bit. It was terrific. Yeah. But for those folks to try to pretend in front of their audiences who come to them for some semblance of a perspective on the world. And, t and take them seriously. Wow. This, it, it, he, let me explain what happens here. They're attaching, I don't know the names of a single person that you put in front of us uh, <laughs> in either. your audience. I don't either, and actually. The, and I'll bet you that the MSNBC's audience doesn't know the names of those <laughs> That's folks. That's a great point. And <laughs> the reason they're mentioning the name Sean Hannity in any context at all, they're trying to affix themselves to some part of your, uh, let me say, how did I status. How did I become clickbait? I you know, yeah, how did that happen? You are. That's well, what you are. Very, but, that's very all it is. Proudly, I guess. But, but well, the whole idea to say that women who support Trump are, dead, are numb dead or inside. dead inside. How dare you trash the women in this country as dead inside because we don't agree with you. Right. We're not criticizing you. Anybody watching you? you right now <laughs> knows that that's a false that statement. I'm not dead oh, inside? you're very alive. Yes. <laughs> all right. Look, what a historic week, Lou, we're heading into. You bet. Um, there's no risk to the president here. He's managed expectations. I'll walk out. Maybe it needs five meetings. He's not going to sign a deal, but maybe we can end the Korean War. The president has communicated uh, this week in his uh, body language, his words, his actions, just how on top of his game he is. This is a president who has not only had the most historic uh, list of achievements of any president since Franklin Delano Roosevelt in, a, in less than a year and a half, but he has also grown immensely as a leader. Now, this is a man who's a natural born leader. He's led business. He has led the, 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 now the I country. He's figured it out. Oh, he's, he's figured, this, this is, is a man not, who's found his oh, voice. Yeah. He knows ex he's known who he is throughout. And now he knows the job. And that means if you're Ryan, you're McConnell, you're Schumer, you're Pelosi, run for cover because he's going to have his way. It's especially Mark my word. sad that Republicans, this is their best opportunity. All they yeah. got to say is, this is a great agenda. Look at the economy. Look at foreign policy. Everything's getting better. They should be happy and want to yeah. want to be a part of it. Paul Ryan yep. can't stand the fact that he doesn't amount to shoelaces uh, on the president's... Uh, you scared me a little bit there. When <laughs> yeah. you uh, I, well, I was, shoelaces got I, close. Sometimes I get caught up in those sibilants because I'm so used to going other places rather than... Oh, I've I heard it, Lou. I've watched uh, <laughs> in person. Let me ask you, not only the North Korean summit, but now we got this IG report. I have a problem with the timing of the release. 18 months, and we're going to release it two days after the summit. The leaks that I hear, insubordinate with James Comey, are they going to say, are they going to tell us the truth? Hillary broke the law. Hillary committed felonies. Hillary obstructed justice. And Comey struck and others put the fix in and wrote her exoneration months before they ever did their investigation. Look, here's the truth. The inspector general has no power. It's almost as though you want to say, thanks for the report, but where's the beef? You know, he doesn't have the power to indict. Should James Comey be indicted? The question, based on what I've heard, is yes. Remember, McCabe got the criminal referral after the IG right. report. I would, I we'll think, get into this with Sarah and Greg I next. Comey I, by, on, on, too. On, I think so. Comey, I think you're right. Have to. I think Comey struck McCabe all in deep trouble. Will they turn against someone they already higher? Have. But why do you think they're no, building no, no, a proffer no. with McCabe now? Higher. Well, that was the, the latest struck page text said, 
It's being directed by the White House. What did what Obama did know? President Obama know? That's and when did he know it? did he know it? Agreed. You want immunity? Hit the guy on you know, top. No, for somebody that's really dead inside, you're doing really well. You know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. You know I'm kidding. All right, Lou. Good to see you. Too. Great Thanks. to see you.